Rob's gone and parked the truck, so I am just trying to get the toboggans from down the hill. Then there's like a little creek here, and that's actually harder than it looks to get get the heavy gear over there by myself. But I made it with one anyway. I got the blue one behind me is is ready to go. Whew, work up a sweat. It's actually quite nice. It's about minus six today. Um, it's lightly snowing, so we're going to head out. We are by Walt Waltonian Inn in Calendar, Ontario, which isn't far from North Bay. Still Lake Nipissing, and we're hoping to catch some bigger fish here because the water's a bit deeper than where we were at sunset, if we walk out for far enough, actually. Um, so that's what we're hoping. We're hoping maybe some bigger walleye or Rob's hoping for a burbot, something neither one of us have ever caught before, or actually I've never even seen it. I don't know if Rob's ever seen it in real life either, um, other than on watching people on YouTube catch them. But yeah, so just waiting for him, and then we will get on our way. One, two, three. Well, we made it to Ice City. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably about a 20 minute walk from the shore, hauling their sleds. But yeah, so now we gotta pick a spot. You were thinking right in there? Yeah, I don't know, never been here before. So. No. There's a lot of people out here now. <laughs> I pretty much, Assume it's just take your pick, hey? This has got uh, five meters, 15 feet, so I need to walk at least that line there. Uh, I don't even know how deep we are right now. Does it say it anywhere? 2.1. So six feet. We're only six feet walking all this way out here. Yeah, we're going to keep walking, eh? Yeah, so you go that way, it goes out on a little. Right like this. Okay, straight that way? Yep. Let's go. So we've kind of landed here between everybody around us. Rob's just gonna put a hole in the ice and we're gonna check to see how deep it is here before we decide to unload all of our stuff. What is the good old Garmin gonna tell us? 22.3 feet? Yes, it looks like. I'm good with that, are you? Yep. And there's looks some like some stuff, stuff on, on the, the bottom. bottom. Yep. Okay. Good news, this is our spot for the night. We don't really wanna walk out any further. So, we're going to get set up and get set up and we're staying the night tonight so it should be fun welcome back to the tent guys it took us about two hours to get out here between walking out and setting up finding the parking and all that yeah <laughs> so and I've got a nibble on my line here for those who are wondering, we're actually in uh, just off of uh, Nipissing Beach, so just a little bit to west of uh, Calendar Bay. Mm -hmm. Okay, over, this will go. Over by the Waltonian Inn. I think that's where most people around here know it. The entrance by. So we got. Uh, I got a dinner bell here I'm trying new. It's supposed to be really good. I know there's some expensive, ridiculous. 20 bucks, eh? 18 bucks for one lure, and I have a, a glow in a dark one. I'm hoping to maybe get a burbot tonight. 
My middle might be gone. Yep. Creative little buggers, aren't they? <laughs> it's a pretty big mark on the... A perch. Perch. This is not a very good fishing rod, Jen. <laughs> you made up to tighten the... Oh, pickle. Or walleye, I should say. Oh, what was that? Huh. Oh, he already got himself off. He's definitely too small. Oh, yeah. Sager. Back in the hole, little guy. I'm wondering if I have a minnow left because he got mine first and then went to you. Well, it's 20 after 6. The fish are quite active down there. Rob's caught the one so far, um, but they're not biting, so we might have to ch uh, switch up our lures at some point here, maybe after dinner. Well, what are we making, dear? We're going to make uh, like a curry stew here. So I got uh, some chicken, I got some tomatoes, and red peppers, and onions. And carrots. Yeah, and some... Uh, uh, Indian style curry. So uh, for tonight I guess we're gonna do uh, a, a coconut curried chicken, like a stew. Um, now this isn't traditional curry, like Indian curry. Uh, you guys can see this, but um, this is more of an island curry. Um, I like both of them actually, but this is something different. Uh, so we're gonna take some of this with us. Or would you prefer Japanese curry? That's good. That's good, okay. It's already got a blend of different things in here, so this is pretty much ready to go. There is no salt in this though. I'll, uh, I'll use this, I'm going to parcel up some salt separately, and we're going to get some coconut uh, milk, and we're also going to get a can of uh, uh, tomatoes, and some peppers, and yeah, make a nice little, little curry out of it. But anyway, um, just wanted to show that stuff because I really like the taste of it. Milk? You don't need to 
whole can of this. No. Taste test, see if it's seasoned enough. Yeah, I think yeah. That's, that's good. Good enough for me. Perfect. Red peppers, <laughs> yellow peppers, and red onions. All right, time to check to see if our carrots are done. Mm. Nope. A little bit more. Well, if it's cooked, I'm gonna let that cool down. See this piping hot, man. Yes. Mm. 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 Curry's ready, so we're gonna serve it up. should feed uh, Jen Curry and sleep in the same tent with her. You'll be fine. Very good. Delicious, yeah? The luxury at its finest. We just catch a fish we can eat. <laughs> I said earlier to Rob when the camera was off that the fish are waiting to start biting after we're sleeping <laughs> to wake us up all night. <laughs> They're like the last time we spent the night on the ice. That's one nice thing when you winter camp, you can bring like fresh food, sorry, fresh food and, and like mm -hmm. meat and stuff because you got a built in cooler. cooler. Mm -hmm. Nothing goes bad. So, our next outing. Not sure where that will be, but if you guys have food suggestions, put them down in the comment. Something that's easy to make, healthy, tastes really good. Yeah. Yeah. Put them in the comments so we can have more ideas. Well, we're going to finish dinner and we'll check back with you guys when we're done. All right, we got all of our bedding set up. And we got our fishes, fishy lines in there with the bells again to wake us up. We have our tablet. What's the show we're going to watch? I don't know. It's the one with Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone? Yeah, it's a good show. Don't know what the name of it is. But we're going to watch that for a little while. It's quarter after nine. Pretty much bedtime. Yep. Until the fish wake us up, hopefully. So, we will see you guys either in the morning or when the fish bite. Yep. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> so we were just getting into bed and my bell's ringing. <laughs> hopefully I can get him out of the hole. It's easy with that because we have a inflatable Oh, it's just a tiny little wee. Oh, wow. Tiny. <laughs> I waited all night for this one. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> He's bait fish. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the entertainment. <laughs> all right. Okay. Back to fishing. Well, good morning. <laughs> After that little mini fish I caught, we didn't catch anything all night. So, what is it? 27? I yeah, think. so, yeah. I woke up last night many times too hot, actually, so I take a layer off. Yeah. You were too warm, too? Yeah, should have took my uh, fleece off. Anyway. Yeah. But other than that, it was good sleep. Whew. So, I guess now what? <clears throat> I just put all the lines back on, all of our minnows were dead. 
so I replenished the lines and I guess we'll do a little bit of fishing and yeah maybe pack up one bunk sleeping gear packed up and then uh, yeah cook, cook the bacon and finish the fishing yeah Let's see what happens here Let's see if it spikes up again Lots going on down there while we're cooking up some bacon. Be nice if they bit. That jet you know, playing with can is great, isn't it? Yep. It's a little bit small though. Mm -hmm. Good morning to everybody out fishing. A misty kind of a morning. Totally soaking wet outside. We're gonna deal with a lot of slob on the way back. Biting, so we decided to pack everything up after we were done our bacon. Um, the whole tent turned into a swimming pool. Even though we had our black mats down, it's actually freezing rain out there. So we're just going to pack up and get the heck out of here. So we'll see you at the truck. Well, that's it for another weekend. Not sure what we're doing next weekend. We'll get up to something, hopefully a little bit more productive. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we will see you guys next weekend. And uh, enjoy your week. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps us grow our channel, and we appreciate everyone watching. Have a great week, everyone. And we will see you next Sunday for another adventure. <laughs>